good afternoon good evening to the people of god praise jesus you're here with Chanet watching us live from SEK St. Mark's Church, Westlands, where Jesus is the reason for the season. This time, we, we are going into this wonderful time of Christmas where we get to celebrate the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Hmm. We want to dive into the lesson, but before then, let us bow our heads, close our eyes, and pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come before you this time of the day with thanksgiving in our hearts, Lord. We want to thank you for your gift of life unto us. We thank you, Lord, for taking care of us. We thank you for protecting us all this time, Jehovah, Lord. And we thank you that, Lord, through your mercies and through your wonderful love, you're able to see this day. And Father, even as we go into this festive uh, season, as we get into preparation, so Lord, of, of, of uh, celebrating the birth of uh, your son, Jesus Christ, into our lives, Lord, we pray that may you help us, may you guide us, and may, be, may you be with us all. We pray for the children all over the world. Father, may you bless them. May you protect them, O oh Lord. And may all children live under your love and under your protection. We thank you even for the parents, O oh Lord, and the guardians and all the caregivers. Father, may you continue to equip them to nurture these little souls and to nurture them according to your ways. In Lord Jesus, we thank you and we believe in you. For we pray this believing in the name that's, that is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So boys and girls, say amen. Wave at teacher net here. Wonderful. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you today to the first Sunday of December as we learn about the events that happened throughout when Jesus was born to the time when uh, the wise men brought in gifts. So follow us all uh, these four Sundays and Christmas Day. We'll be having wonderful, wonderful lessons every Sunday just for you and of course your friends around as we continue to learn about who? Jesus, okay? So which Christmas song do you know? Well, the one that has come to my mind is uh, Joy to the World, let's sing. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let us receive a king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven nature sing. Wonderful. Clap for yourselves. I hope you have enjoyed that song. It has other stanzas you can sing with it uh, along along with your other family members as we enjoy the season so today's topic we are discussing about jesus my precious gift can you tell your friend jesus my precious gift boys and girls have you ever gone for a holiday somewhere anywhere i guess you have and when you're told that you're going for a holiday i'm sure you get to prepare you get to pack your wonderful big suitcase you get to pack like everything that we need for that holiday right hmm and just before the day of the holiday comes you start wondering wow what activities am i going to do there which friends will i meet there what type of food am i going to eat you know so just the same way you prepare before jesus was born there were some preparations that had to take place. And we are calling it the prophecy of Jesus' birth. What is a prophecy? Well, in the Bible, we have people that we call them prophets. And even today, they are prophets. And prophets are these special people who listen to the message of God and they are able to come and tell the people. So, let's get our Bibles. Today I have my Bible here. I hope you have yours. And as we get the Bible, we will open the book of Micah or Micah. It is chapter 5, verse 1 to 5. What is it saying? I will read very, very, very fast. And when you have time, please read these uh, verses with your parents or your guardians to know more about how the prophecy of Jesus Christ happened. So what does it say? The Lord says, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, you are one of the smallest towns in Judah, but out of you I will bring a ruler for Israel, whose family line goes back to ancient times. 
So the Lord will abandon his people to their enemies until the woman who is to give birth has, a, has her son. Then those Israelites who are in exile will be reunited with their own people. When he comes, he will rule his people with the strength that comes from the Lord and with the majesty of the Lord himself. His people will live in safety because people all over the earth will acknowledge his greatness and he will bring peace. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. So boys and girls, the Bible is telling us way before Jesus was born, there were these prophets. One of them is prophet Micah or Micah. There is prophet um, Isaiah who talked about the forthcoming of who? Jesus. And probably people are wondering, I, when will this Jesus come? Who is this Jesus who is coming? Because at that time, there was so much sin in the world. People had really done so much uh, bad things, like just uh, in the world we live in today, so many bad things are happening. People are doing so many bad things. But God did not want to give up on his people. He still loves us. He still loved those people then. And so he was promising that he will bring a savior. And remember, God's promises are always true and they always come to pass. Have you ever been promised something by your friend or your family member or anyone? Hmm. Did they keep the promise? Sometimes as human beings we make promises, boys and girls, and we, didn't, we don't keep them. But for God, he is a promise keeper. And when he promises, he surely does what he has promised. So through this prophecy, people are wondering, when will this Jesus come? Will he even ever come? And as many things continue to happen, some are even giving up and they are like, I, this Jesus might, might never come. But let me tell you, boys and girls, because God is a promise keeper, indeed, Jesus came. Indeed, Jesus was born. And so every time of December, the month of December, we get to celebrate the birth of this wonderful Savior, a perfect gift that comes from God because in John 3:16 it tells us for God did what boys and girls you know the memory verse for God so loved the world yes that he gave his only begotten son that whoever not one person not two people everybody everybody who believes in him shall have shall not perish but will have everlasting life what does this mean? This simply means, boys and girls, if you believe in Jesus, if you believe in God, if you accept Jesus as his only son who is our savior, then you are a wonderful friend of God. God takes care of you. He forgives you of your sins. He forgives me of my sins. He forgets those bad things that I have been doing because I confess my sins unto him. So today's lesson basically was just to tell us how God promised to bring a savior and next sunday keep watching sunday school saint max we will be talking to you about what happened just before jesus was born keep in touch enjoy today's lesson share it with everybody in your family and even outside there so that we continue to learn about this wonderful wonderful session of christmas and by the way christmas doesn't have any other meaning apart from receiving a gift and what is this gift that we are receiving the gift of jesus christ i know you have plans for holiday you want to go to various places but as you celebrate remember jesus christ our lord and savior remember that without jesus we will be far away from god remember that jesus is the only perfect gift that we can believe in and be saved so have a wonderful time Enjoy your holidays. I will see you next Sunday. You watch us at the same time as we continue to learn about the events that took place before Jesus was born and after Jesus was born. And there is this song that we usually sing with the little ones. It talks about the love of Jesus. Jesus loves me, yes I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak.
but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Wonderful. Thank you for listening to today's lesson. Let us say the words of the grace as we wind up. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Jesus loves you and me and all of us. Bye.